Bilis says, I'm a civil engineer branch and a postgraduate in quality, quantity surveying and contract management from Nikmar. And I'm working for an AEC private limited in cost planning department. How these courses helps to my particular role. Okay. So uh, I'm a ex Nikmar guy myself. Before I went to Virginia Tech for my construction management, I did Nikmar's uh, construction management uh, in uh, in. I think they have a business management at that point and a couple of other quantity surveys was one of them 100 percent so quantity surveying is really critical right when you have a bim model quantity serving is a byproduct and not necessarily a loaded job right so when you have a quantity serving information for example if you have to go in and find out how much brick may uh, you masonry you need how much paint you're supposed to buy how much concrete is going to be bought how much rebar you have to buy those are not the things that you do with BIM. Okay. With BIM, if someone has designed the jobs, it takes 20 minutes to put out a quantity survey. Not, I'm not exaggerating. I have put out bazillion amount of quantity surveys with exactly number. And I am so accurate that my quantities don't move by 1%. I, I, I see that's technology. Quantity surveys if you do manually will always have a tolerance of five to 10%, no matter what, because it's a human factor, you're guessing. With BIM, there is no guessing. This is where the wall goes. We know what the size of the brick masonry is, and this is how many units you need. End of conversation, there is no other options. It's not a concept, BIM is not a concept. It's a reality of the application in the virtual world. And if you know how to do it right, you will be the fastest quantity surveyor that you could have ever imagined. Okay. We put a multi-million dollar bits in about five to 10 days. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about 50, 60 million dollar worth of bids that requires quantities, estimating and everything in about two weeks. Okay. That's huge. It's numbers and numbers, right? The labor rates and the rate per unicity is what you have to put in. But the quantity itself is no brainer. The concept of quantity surveyor, I think will go away. There is no concept of quantity surveyor in international markets. No need for it. It is, a, I, in my opinion, it is about to go away or have a different name. It could be an estimator or whatever, but if you don't need a special person, when BIM comes in, we don't need a special person to do quantity takeoff. It's by default comes out of the system. Okay, Abhilesh. So um, how this course helps is exactly doing that. We are going to teach you how to do quantity takeoffs, how to design, not only design the building, but how to do quantity takeoffs in 20 minutes. Anything and everything you want. If you want to do per floor, you want to do by section, you want to do by date, however you want to do quantity takeoffs. If we can cut and slice it however you want to do it that's the that's the best of it the fine point is how you plan it because if you if you don't need five thousand units of the brick coming on may 1st how do you know you don't need five thousand is this is the model it will tell you exactly how many units you need by week by month you can forecast okay mm -hmm. so that's the whole scheduling and planning that goes into construction management which is really the 301 where, where this is the concept. See, the tools, there's processes, tools, and application of processes and tools. Okay. And that's where management comes into the place.